Welcome back guys you are watching brothers together one of the biggest question which is uh, in the minds of most of the people who are watching this video is whether kct 2023 can be cracked in a span of 7 days or uh, is it still possible to crack kct 2023 the answer is a big yes if you ask me and if you ask me how then the answer is the complete video which i am doing today so in this video i'll be discussing the complete roadmap which you need to follow in order to crack kct in these uh, 7 days and in the same way maximize your score if you are someone who is preparing for your upcoming KCAT 2023 exam guys. Yeah. Before moving on with the video, as I said earlier, some of the students who are studying in top NITs and IITs of this nation have come up with a WhatsApp community called College Dost, which will give you exclusive updates regarding KCAT through WhatsApp. Imagine receiving KCAT updates through WhatsApp. It's crazy guys. Again, and through the same platform, they are also planning of giving you tips regarding counseling. Uh, which will be a lot of benefit for all of you who are watching this video. So uh, click on the link which I have already given in the description to join this same community guys. Yeah, with that note, uh, let's start this video. Yeah, now let us go through each and every subject one by one and we, uh, let us see how you can maximize your score, score in each and every subject in these last seven days. Yes guys, first things first, let us go through physics. So physics is a subject wherein around more than 45 marks come from the formula part of it and it becomes really important to revise all the formulas. So I would like to suggest you to prepare a formula sheet for each and every chapter even if you haven't prepared yet. So just download formula sheets uh, which are available online. There are a lot of uh, companies or a lot of edtech platforms providing uh, free content when it comes to the formula sheet. So download it. Go through each and every formula sheet chapter by chapter and in the same way when you go through it you need to do two things guys in these seven days when there are very less days left these two things become really important one thing is that you should just try to memorize the formula yes guys memorizing formula becomes really important you get the gist of the formula then the next thing becomes really important the next thing which you need to do here is to uh, try to think of its applications Yes guys, this becomes really important whenever you uh, try to learn a formula, whenever you understand a formula, you should be uh, sitting in the shoes of the examiner and you should be uh, and trying to understand what kind of applications does this particular formula have and in the same way what kind of applications can the examiner expect from you. Through that way, you can just uh, solve around uh, three to four questions based on that formula, which will help you get a good marks in your upcoming KCT exam, guys. So this becomes really important because as I already said, around 45 questions out of 60 come from the formula part of it and remaining five, I hope you guys will be doing in theory. So even if the 10 marks are compromised, these 50 will put you in a great position. That doesn't mean you should only score 50, but still, this is what you can do in order to maximize your score in the last seven days left guys now when it comes to the chemistry part so chemistry in all in all can be divided into three further domains so first thing is physical chemistry second thing is organic chemistry and the third thing is inorganic chemistry so physical for physical chemistry all you can do is to uh, carry on the same exercise which i told you for physics doing what i said for physics will get you a lot of marks in physical chemistry and i hope you guys will do that definitely Again, for organic chemistry, organic chemistry is allergic to many people and in the same way many people just don't like this organic chemistry because there are a lot of things to cram up. For that, one thing I would like to suggest you guys is to stick on to your NCRT. So from NCRT, just try to read your NCRT when it comes to the organic part of it. So all the chapters which come under this organic part is prescribed very well in the NCRT textbooks. So read as many times as you can. You will get at least around 70% uh, of the concept into your mind once you read NCRT carefully. And after that, there are certain things which NCRT has highlighted. And in the same way, you should emphasize for that more when you are studying organic chemistry, guys. Yeah, moving on to the next one, when it comes to inorganic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry is again a part where many people don't like it, including me, because there is a lot of things to cram up. But still, inorganic chemistry can be dealt upon when you uh, go through the approach, through the short notes. If Even if you haven't prepared yet, if you have prepared your short notes, then it is completely fine. But still, even if you haven't done it yet, then uh, feel free to download it from any uh, YouTube channel which you like or else from any tech platform. Even I'll be giving some links in the description through which you can just uh, download it immediately. Yeah, uh, short notes is one thing which you can use to tackle this inorganic chemistry part. Even if there are a lot of things to cram up, there are certain conceptual things which you can keep in mind which will help you uh, score good in this part too. 
all in all if you do this exercise for all these uh, particular domains of chemistry i hope your chemistry part also will definitely go good guys yeah now moving on to the big part that is the mathematics many people are again worried about mathematics i was uh, seeing the comment section of my previous video in which many people were quoting that uh, you guys are worried about mathematics guys there is nothing much to be worried about mathematics because questions directly come from crt so most of the questions directly come from ncrt exercise and uh, the profile remains the same even if the values are not same sometimes even values will be same i had got around two to three questions wherein even the values were same but still most of the questions carry the same profile as your ncrt exercise questions so when it comes to mathematics part again i need not say much about it emphasizing about ncrt becomes really important ncrt should be your key guys when you ask how to deal a chapter in ncrt i would like to suggest you this thing first go through all the formulas or all the expressions or all important things in the chapter in a nutshell so once you understand a chapter in a nutshell again i strongly feel that for your board exams you have done almost uh, all the exercise questions when it comes to the 12th part but uh, even if you know a little concept about chapters which carry high weightage from your first pc or 11th part just try to solve the ex uh, some exercise questions it's not that you need to solve all the exercise questions when it comes to a main solve at least one to two so that you will get an idea of how to uh, solve that kind of question so that you need not uh, waste your time in solving all the question so again as i said exercise questions hold a lot of importance here so exercise should be dealt with upon and in the same way uh, just try to cover all the back exercise when it comes to mathematics part what you can do is to uh, refer questions which have come already in the kct exam that is the previous year questions so mathematics the trend uh, continues to be remaining the same so previous year questions become really important here try to solve certain questions even if you uh, won't be able to solve it in the first take it is completely fine because it has happened to me it is happening to many people around you so it is completely fine if you won't be able to solve but still go through the solution once and this becomes really important going through the solution and understanding how these type of questions can be solved will put you in a position wherein you will be able to solve the same kind of question when it appears in kct 2023 exam guys so this is the drill which you uh, can follow in this last seven days and this is the drill which i had followed in my last seven days for kct 2023 exam and i got a rank of 2233 in my engineering uh, domain and currently i'm studying my first year engineering in sjc my super guys and all i expect from you guys is your 110 percent effort and complete dedication in your preparation and if you do that i'm pretty sure that you will be coming out with flying colors after your kct 2023 exam guys so uh, this was what i thought of uh, telling you guys through this video so feel free to put it in the comment section if you feel there is a need of a video based on a particular topic so that i can uh, come up with the same kind of videos and in the same way don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video because that will be giving me a lot of motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future guys so thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye